Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about privacy and another tips and tricks video. We're going to show you how to disable Cortana Assistant. Now a lot of people are obsessed about privacy. A lot of people are scared. They think Microsoft is actually collecting all our data. And you know what? I don't think they are personally, but it's something that scares a lot of people. And there are some features that you can actually do without. Cortana by default needs to actually access your data because that's the way it can learn and help you better. I think it's a great assistant, but if you're scared, if you think, you know, Cortana's listening to you or maybe sending information about you, um, well, you can actually disable Cortana. Don't forget that when you set up Windows 10 for the first time, you actually have that question asked. Do you want to enable Cortana? And there is a privacy statement uh, where they tell you it needs to gather data. You know, they're really open about this. That's why I don't think it's such of a problem. So if you want to disable Cortana, what you need to do is simply go in the search box at the bottom left and just type Cortana. There you'll see Cortana search settings. All you have to do, put that slider off and that's it. Cortana will now uh, you know, be disabled. There's nothing that it's going to do. It doesn't listen anymore. Everything is off. So that's another setting that you can turn off if you're scared you know of using Cortana some people have mentioned that you know they don't like the assistant they don't want to have it working I pers personally think it's a great assistant and I don't think it's really stealing data and you know think about it if you're using uh, Siri on your iPhone if you're using Google Voice on your Android um, basically it's pretty much the same thing it listens to you and it needs to save information in order to work right you know it's more of a service something that helps you than anything else so little slider on and off you can of course turn it off and if you ever need to use it or if one day you change your mind you can turn it on and you'll always have that little privacy statement here that says uh, to let Cortana do her best work Microsoft collects and uses information including your location and location history contacts, voice input, search history, calendar details, and so on. It has to if, it, if you want it to work well. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, maybe you want to share your experience with Windows 10, please do so. It's always fun to have your feedback. If you subscribe to the channel, you get notifications every time I post videos and um, I'll be posting tons of videos on Windows 10 in the days and weeks to come. So thank you for watching.